Jules, uh, how cool is this for you? Obviously, an LA local high school here, college here, and now to be here at the Laker facility working out for the, for the draft. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, you know, uh, just growing up and and you know watching Kobe, watching you know Showtime Lakers. Actually, well, it was a little past my uh, before my time, but growing up watching you know videos of that and then watching Kobe, obviously my favorite player. Um, it's it's amazing to to just put the jersey on, you know, and uh, and work out for this team. And uh, you know, I, I'm I'm someone who who is about winning and, you know, having, you know, I, I went to UCLA because of the winning culture there and our 11 titles and, and the legacy that, you know, those players have, have gone through UCLA and just to be here and, and see the the, um, the trophies up uh, in the window um, above the, you know, the court and working out, it's a, it's an amazing feeling. When you look back at your time there, will the run two years ago, will that step stick out in your mind the most? Uh, the run two years ago. The uh, run? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a, uh, that was an amazing run. Obviously, we wanted to go all the way, and uh, you know, Jalen Suggs hit a, hit a really tough shot. But um, you know, that was a that was definitely a moment I'll remember forever. You know, that team um, and, and that run, and how we uh, battled against a lot of adversity coming in as a, as an 11 seed, and you know, playing in the first uh, the first four in game, and then you know, all the way to the final four. So definitely something I'll remember forever. Um, you know, when you think about that team um, and the run you guys made, is that something you kind of translate to what you're trying to do here with your career and, and maybe surprise some people with what you can do in the NBA? Yeah, for sure. Um, f one thing, you know, that I feel like translates well is, is you know, a winning, a winning mentality, a, a competitive mentality, and then that's something I've carried on throughout my career. And you know, having a coach like Coach Cronin at UCLA, who's who's all about winning, no matter what. You know, he's so passionate about the game, and having you know the, the, those similar mindsets, and you know, being coached by someone like that, it was it, it, it helped me a lot. And um, you know, he he understands what it takes to win, and and for me, that's something that I feel like translates understanding what gets you on the court, what's help, what helps your team win, and, and for me, that's you know, playing extremely hard, playing defense. Um, guarding multiple positions, knocking down shots, taking care of the ball, um, you know, learning learning how to adjust um, in, in your situations. You know, obviously at, at UCLA, I, um, you know, I went through coaching changes, so, you know, learning different styles and learning how to play in different styles. And, and so, you know, my time at UCLA, I feel like really helped me and prepared me for the, for the next level. As an older guy, do you think, like, the Lakers sort of with their veteran makeup is the kind of team that maybe you could make an impact for? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, for me, I'm I'm always gonna be ready and and, and I've had I've had a lot of experience in, in college and and I understand the game and and I feel like, you know, I have I have the ability and, and the mindset and the experience to come in and, and affect the game right away. And um, you know obviously there are a lot of great players here and for me, you know, just learning um, and knowing, you know, how to how to you know mesh and, and fit into a, cer a certain uh, you know as a piece of this team, or or any team, and and I feel like you know I have that mindset coming in and, and whatever team, you know, especially you know in, in this situation where there are a lot of older guys, and you know for me I feel like being a sponge will help me a lot too. You know, you have a lot of great minds on this team, and just taking in as much information and, and being a competitor. So. X's and O's, like what, what do you hope to bring, uh, your shot, um, that type of thing? Yeah, um, yeah, for me, you know, I feel like uh, I'm a very creative shot, uh, shot creator, um, and I know how to put the ball in the hole, but, but also my time, especially, you know, my last two years, you know, Coach Cronin uh, gave me the opportunity to, to put the ball in my hands at the point guard spot and um, develop there. So. I feel like with my size and, and my ability um, at the point guard spot, um, you know, moving over from you know the, the you know two and three to moving to the one and running and running a, a team is something I can do. And especially with my tools and my physicality at that position, I feel like it, it can uh, you know cause damage. So um, you know, definitely uh, definitely um, see myself as as a flexible player. And uh, you know, the way the game is moving now, it's a little more positionless, and you have. Uh, Tall guys playing point guards, and and you know we have shorter guys like you know maybe PJ Tucker for example playing the five. So um, you know I feel like with my physicality and and, and uh, athleticism, um, I can play multiple positions. Is there something you feel like you've substantially worked on or improved since 
your season ended during, just during this draft process? Yeah, um, well, for, for one, you know, the basic things, being uh, consistent with my shot, um, really tightening up my handle, um, especially, you know, because, you know, in college, you know, the, the, there's size, but at this level, you know, there are a lot of guys with size and physicality. And so, you know, I can't, you know, just rely on, you know, physical tools. I, you know, I have to develop that skill and learn how to learn angles and learn how to use my body um, to create angles and, you know, manipulate the defense. So um, I've been working on that a lot and, and just learning how to play in NBA actions. You know, I, uh, um, you know, my trainer that we work with, uh, he, he does a lot with, a lot with us in, in certain NBA actions and lets us play out of those. and you know, get, get familiar with those type of actions. So just understand, understanding that and, you know, obvious, just keep shooting and, and keep working on handling, so.